in this video, I'm going to show you some techniques that can help you drive faster in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I talked about some of these things a couple months ago, but even so, I still think this video is long overdue. I'll mainly be going over drifting and gliding here, but I will talk about tricking for one technique as well, so this video should cover all of your bases. Anyways, without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. Just before getting started, if you enjoy this video, consider subscribing. It's free. It helps me out a lot, and you can always change your mind. Soft drifting is probably the most important technique to talk about, which is why I'm bringing it up first. The general idea here is that you're charging up your desired mini turbo at the same speed as you would if you were drifting tight, but without drifting tight. You want your stick to be about 60 degrees from the vertical when performing this technique, and you should be able to nail out your mini turbos rather easily. This is a pretty rough estimate though, especially because the exact angle can vary depending on your mini turbo stat, but use 60 from the vertical as a starting point, and you should be able to get better at the technique with experience. You can see here how much easier it is to crank out a super mini turbo when soft drifting as opposed to hard drifting. I suggest putting a ton of emphasis on this technique in particular if you're just getting started. This technique will not only help you edge out mini turbos easily, but it's generally much faster. Delayed drifting involves hopping with your stick in neutral position, then moving your stick in the direction you want to drift while in the air. Again, this is generally a little bit faster than hopping and drifting in the same direction, and you'll have more time to edge out your desired mini turbo. You can see here that I'm losing so much time to my ghost because of the double whammy you put on yourself when you don't delay your drifts. This is a very easy technique to learn, and combined with soft drifting, you'll have it much easier when you need to barely edge out your mini turbo. Turbos. This technique is really only important on Wario Stadium, but it can be useful on a very few select other ramps in this game. Launch drifting involves drifting either left or right, then immediately holding in the opposite direction for a split second. You can kind of see it on the first ramp here, but this technique really shines on the second ramp. It's also worth mentioning that you only need to hold wide for about a quarter of a second, so you can charge up your desired mini turbo in no time, which is pretty important here, as edging out your super mini turbo can be pretty tight. You can really see here how much of a time saver the strat is. It can be a little tough to get the hang of at first, but you'll notice a difference online pretty much right away, whether it's you catching up to people or you not getting caught up to. Neutral drifting is also a stall technique to know of, specifically on big turns where you have more than enough time to charge up the mini turbo you want. Whenever you can, just keep your stick in neutral position, and you'll get a tiny bit of time over those whose sticks aren't in neutral. As you can see here, it doesn't save a crazy amount of time, but it is nice to know if there comes a time where you don't need to go crazy trying to charge up whatever mini turbo you need. This is another technique that you won't need to use too often, but given the opportunity, it can really help you out. Launch tricking involves holding wide, then holding tight in the direction you're tricking in, usually when mini turbo tricking. On the first boost ramp on Ribbon Road, for example, charge up your mini turbo in the air. You want to hold wide as you're just about to go off the ramp, and at the edge when you're about to trick, release your mini turbo, trick up the ramp, and hold left all at the same time. This will give you a solid launch forward, and because you do this on the following boost ramp, it can really help you out. You can see here how much time I'm losing by not doing the launch trick. It can help you really stand out on a track like Ribbon Road. Now for gliders, there are two techniques worth going over. The most important one for sure is low gliding. For most glider ramps, as soon as you go off the glider ramp, press your drift button like you're releasing your drift, and your glider will pop out right away. This can save a solid amount of time depending on where you use this technique. Again, it's not faster everywhere, but if you're releasing a super or ultra mini turbo, as long as it is in cloth top cruise, you should perform this technique. It will definitely pay off over time. The last technique I'll go over here is glider vectoring. This technique doesn't save much time, but every little bit helps. In general, you want to hold a little left or right for the whole time. As for vertically though, you want to hold forward for about half a second, then hold back, and you should be able to notice some sort of launch forward. Again, it's not a total game changer, but it does help, and the little things can absolutely add up in this game. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And before I forget, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It's a pretty awesome milestone to hit. As prior to the YouTube grind, I think I've only ever had a little over 200 followers or subscribers on any social media platform ever. In any case, seriously, thank you guys so much. I won't let you guys down. I do have a 1,000 subscriber special planned, but I'm not sure when I'll be making it or releasing it. Hopefully within the next few weeks, and I'll keep you guys updated in my Discord server. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day and keep on giving her, bud.